Now finally, you're going to be expected to comment on two points to do with this measurement. The first one is whether this curve that you have plotted here is close enough to a Gaussian or not. Now, remember that a Gaussian is symmetric around the central point, the mean point. But you'll find that from your graph, this is clearly not a symmetric curve. The reason for that is because at frequencies below resonance, the impedance of this circuit is dominated by the capacitor. That's a nonlinear device with respect to the frequency, whereas at frequencies above resonance, the circuit is dominated by the inductor. It turns out the inductor does respond linearly to frequency, and that's what gives this asymmetry. So you'll need to quote on whether you think that this can be good enough to be approximated as a Gaussian. Leading on from that, you're going to have to consider the quoting of the uncertainty. Remember, the number of significant figures that you would use in quoting an uncertainty gives an indication to the reader of the kind of rigor with which you've done this work. If you've done a very careful job, a rigorous work of working out the uncertainty, you're going to quote this to two significant figures. But if you've done some fairly rough work, some arbitrary work, some guesswork, you'll quote this to only one significant figure. Please make sure that you've consulted the manual to find out when you should be using two significant figures or one significant figure here. Once you have done that, make sure you know how this influences the number of decimal places that you'll quote there. Remember also, significant figures and decimal places are not the same thing.